Hello friends, welcome to FM Electricals. In this video, we are going to learn about how to do correct selection of inverter and the battery for our home or offices. Because many people are in doubt that how they will calculate the inverter load and the battery load and uh, how we will uh, purchase in the market, how we can, because when you will go to the market, they will tell that this this type of inverter is good this many battery required they will uh, make you confused so uh, if you see this video and if you will understand then you will be more confident while purchasing any inverter and the battery so you will be knowing uh, before that which type of inverter you required and what is the battery how many battery and what is the battery capacity required and which brand is good so in this video uh, we are going to explain very clearly so you will be more confident while purchasing the inverter and the battery so le let's start this video but before starting i request you to like this video and subscribe my channel so let's go I will take the pen. So first we will discuss about the inverter, then we will discuss about the battery. So inverter means this, you can see this inverter. What is the purpose of inverter? Inverter, uh, first the battery will be charged and from this they will get DC and from DC it will uh, convert into AC and then through the AC, our all the equipment, all the appliances like light, bulb, and the LED TV, and whatever load in your uh, office or uh, uh, home, you can run on this inverter. So this is the inverter. This is the latest model of Luminous. So any inverter you can purchase of any brand, but uh, Luminous is very good because uh, I am using this uh, Luminous. So this performance is very good. So I kept this picture so this is the inverter look like this then these are the battery this battery is tab tabular type battery means taller in height will be tabular battery before uh, like five ten years ago the flat battery was coming so that flat battery is was like this mean the height was less and the width was more but here you can see the height is more so this is called as tabular battery so in this video i will explain which one is better and what are the features and the benefits for each battery so we will explain in this so first we will go what is the inverter and what is the use for this and how many types of inverters are there we will discuss in this video so we will go to the next slide so classification of inverter means how we can choose the inverter which uh, inverter is uh, proper for our house which inverter is uh, good for our load so we will see one by one so according to the waveform waveform means uh, in ac you will see there will be sine wave like this so this is sine wave so according to the waveform so this is the waveform so according to the waveform we have three types of inverter one is a square wave the second is pure sine wave the third one is modified sine wave so one by one we will discuss then we will go to the next slide first one we will discuss about the square wave inverter in this the wave will be like this means suppose this is the graph so it will be like this so in one cycle there will be one square and the one square negative positive and negative so you can see like this not like this so in a square wave inverter earlier days it was coming only a square wave inverter that one we were using for the lights load and some small tv but that t that tv was of tube tube picture type tv the bigger one not led type because in led type we cannot use this a square wave inverter because uh, just we will explain uh, a square wave inverter it comes in the market very with high a very cheap price then its voltage regulation is very low means uh, it converts the ac but uh, there will be so many losses power losses so very poor regulation large amount of harmonic harmonics means suppose 
in AC, we have sine wave. Okay. So harmonics means due to the converting because this inverter converting from DC to AC from the battery charge. So what is happening uh, while transferring from uh, DC to AC it creates large amount of harmonic. Harmonic means there will be additional so many waveforms. This is uh, this is the complete cycle you can see one positive and one negative. So it, it completes one cycle but within this there will be another along with this there is another waveform. So this causes harmonics and because of this very uh, poor regulation we can say it and we can say it's very rough AC means the AC is not good. The alternating current we are getting is very bad. Used for the small appliances like light. For the lights is okay like uh, but for LED lights we cannot use this inverter because it will be blinking. So it was now obsolete we can say for the lesser load like uh, uh, this uh, resistive uh, type load we can use it but for inductive type or for LED or for LED TV uh, we cannot use a square wave inverter we need to go for pure wave inverter pure sign sign pure sine wave inverter so in second we have pure sine wave inverter this is very good inverter so while purchasing the market you have to be sure that we are going to purchase pure sine wave inverter this is very good very good regulation good accuracy less power loss complex design more expensive and then less noisy this is very important because if you will purchase the uh, normal square inverter it will give so much sound so you will be irritated inductive load this is very good for the inductive load inductive load, load means motor for the motor also it is very good then we will go to the next slide now we have modified sine wave actually the color of this is not good so i will select the red one okay for very poor regulation means for this uh, sine wave modified sine waves we have very poor regulation good accuracy is there but uh, there is very poor because it is still uh, a square tap sine wave less power loss we have if we compare to a square wave it is have less power loss then complex design we can say it more expensive less noisy inductive load is okay but the best one is if you are going to mar market to purchase then go for pure sine wave inverter okay now classification of battery which type of battery we need to purchase according to size we have two type of battery one one is called flat battery and second is tablet battery so you can see in the picture the tablet battery is taller and higher uh, in uh, higher means height height is uh, more and uh, for flat battery the width is more but the height is less so this this we can through this we can also recognize this is the tablet battery and this is the flat plate battery flat plate battery application what is the application means where we can use the flat battery so here we can see flat battery lead acid battery and where we are using low duration but frequent powders means Flat battery have very less capacity. Means for uh, uh, like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour is okay. For one hour is uh, okay. But if you are uh, searching, looking for uh, more than two hours, three hours, then you have to go for tablet battery because these this this type of battery have very low uh, duration of uh, power backup. Tablet battery. Tablet battery. This is uh, designed for uh, experience long and fewer power cuts where we have uh, long backup. If we want for uh, long backup hours, then we can go for the tablet battery. It's very good in uh, capacity to withstand for longer time. 
then we will see benefits of flat battery what is the benefits flat battery is cheaper than tubular battery charging is okay then where we can use it where we need minimum power requirement like for lesser time we can use flat battery because it comes cheaper when we talk about the benefits of tubular battery it has so many uh, benefits means longer life then reliable is also good means for long time it will be reliable it will not get damaged soon you can effortlessly use a tablet battery for heavy duty application for heavy load we can like for ac for motor water pump we can use this one so uh, and even the distilled water uh, because in the flat battery you have to change distilled water like after 10 days 15 days but once you fill with distilled water in the tablet plate battery it will last for six years don't worry for six years then comes with a long standby life life is very good like three four years we can uh, get good uh, power features of flat battery what is the features mean uh, it has thick plate but in tablet battery we will have the thicker plates fast charger is okay then we will go for features for tablet battery it's 20 percent more electrolyte then if we compare to flat plate battery this tablet battery consume very less space very less maintenance we can say it and very super long life very good so while purchasing you purchase tablet plate battery that is very good now how we will select the right inverter how we select so it is very important so be with us in this video so your all doubts will be can can your all doubts will be cleared and it's very easy to understand how to select right inverter so suppose you want to run this many type of appliances through the inverter so for what you have to write suppose you want to run tube light so you can see the what is in the tube light itself uh, just i put for uh, example support uh, the tube light having words 36 10 number you want to use so total watts will be 360 led bulb suppose 9 what you are using total 10 number you will use so 90 tv 50 watts one number you are using so total 50 watts fan uh, you are going to use 50 watts then two number you are going to use so total 100 watts then split ac 1500 watts for two numbers so 3000 so the how much total load will come it will come 3600 watts now suppose in future you want to add some more loads so 20 percent extra so 20 percent extra becomes 4500 uh, 4, watts now we need to consider the power factor so it will come around 5000 5620 kva uh, va we can say so dividing by thousand it will come kva so in in kva uh, in va how much is coming 5620 so when we divide by thousand it will come in kilo volt ampere so 5.62 means it will come near 6 kva so in the market you have to purchase 6 kva inverter so now you have selected the inverter so for this load you have to go for the rating of inverter 6 kva now we will see how to do calculation for battery so you already you already know we have the loads this many then we will go to the next slide here you can see battery selection so the same it was load total load is this one now 
for how many hours you are going to uh, run the lights and the bulb your appliances on the battery so suppose this is the load and for how many hours you are going to use suppose you are going to use for two hours so you have to just multiply so you will get the watt hours suppose total load is 30 watts tube light total 10 number you are going to use so total 360 watt now for for this 10 number tube light for how many hours you are going to run on a battery so you have to multiply so 360 into 2 means total 720 watt hours same 9 watt total 10 so total 90 watts now for 2 hours you want to use so 90 into 2 180 so like this we have done the calculation for a split ac 1500 then we are going for 2 uh, ac so 3000 watts for 2 hours backup so 3000 into 2 means 6000 6, watt hours so total watt hours comes 7050 watt hours so 7050 watt hours here now we will check how much ah required h required how we will calculate watt hours divided by battery voltage so battery voltage we, we are purchasing 12 volt battery so in the market you will have the 12 volt battery so you have to divide the total watt hours so here you can go after the dividing you will get 587 ah in the market battery available 200 150 also available so either you can go for 150 because here you can see 587 so 150 ah 150 ah uh, divided uh, uh, multiply by 4 so it will come around 600 ah so you required 600 h battery so suppose if you are going to purchase 200 h so three battery required three battery required so what we come to conclusion that uh, inverter rating we can select as per this load 6 kb we need to purchase in the from from the market and battery but when you will go for 3 kb more the inverter will be 24 volt 24 volt battery operation so you have to purchase four battery because suppose uh, if you are purchasing two so 12 plus 12 you have to do series connection so you will get in water operating voltage 24 24 you will get but as per this calculation it comes three only so you have to go for you have to understand this one also means its battery voltage is 12 so if you will purchase 150 battery total four numbers so it will come around uh, 600 h but our requirement is 587 so 600 is okay so we, we will purchase 150 ah battery four number okay or three number two h 200 h so i hope you understand how we can calculate the inverter and the battery if you like this video kindly subscribe my channel also and share my video thank you so much